それではダビッド殿ご活躍を期待しておりますぞあれ strange and inefficient way to move around ダビッドが? 漁師様がわざわざなんでそうしろとの要請でなまあ構わんさ奴らの正体を知るいい機会だな準備が整い次第ブラックデールに出発するいいなイエスマイオールチーデーデーヴィッドがシュバック Ah, yes, Rush, there was something I wanted to give you. Emma, if you would? Sure. The battles from now on will only become fiercer. I hope that this jacket will make it a little easier for you. Oh, that's fanciful. Thanks, Dave. David and Torgal Squad have joined the party. Sure. That might look good. Is it already equipped? I mean, I guess. You can see any other accessories. Sure. Let's talk to these guys. A mage wearing white and a flying remnant have been confirmed among the troops sighted in invading Blackdale. It's no question that they must be the same men we encountered at Delmore. We must be careful not to underestimate them. Keep your head about you, Rush. You could almost say that, uh, you know, be careful not to rush into things. All to the uninitiated, and may appear as if we were equals. In actuality, Athlum is a territory under our solar palace's domain. Still, to require Lord David to chase after a simple group of unknowns is a situation I would prefer be avoided in the future. Okay, so we're getting a, big, a bit of backstory on the relationship between these two, ci uh, these two cities. Going so far as to require Lord David to come along as part of their request. Solar palace really loves rubbing our faces in it. Still, this could be a good chance to learn what that Magus in White is all about. We won't be letting him off easily this time. We sure won't. What about you, Blocker? Rush, if you've got some extra components, you should take him down to the customization shop. They can fix your equipment up good. Um, nah, I don't think there's any requirement for that just now. What about you? Silopolis has cited men matching the description of the ones we encountered in Delmore. They request we look into it at once. Once you've completed your preparations, let us head to Blacktail. Sure. So all of you guys are saying pretty much the same thing. Um, we're good. I think we're good to go. So let's hit it. Nope, oh, there's Blacktail. A plateau above a string of caves. Portions of it crumble away on a daily basis, providing new paths into the cave. Sure. Let's just save. Let's kick it. Now 
There we go. David.私は足ラム工作ダビッド・ナッサウであるあ、is not my impression, but これ以上ここで勝手な真似ができると思うな。I hope it's just not just my impression, but Rush really seems like a dummy. Hey, we brought six guards. Mission defeat the enemy. Yeah, sure. Except oh Jesus. That's a fair few squads. So this, who is this guy? Jaeger. Okay. Was he that guy in the in the clip before with the white mage guy? Anyway, he's too far away. These guys are too far away. Uh, melee squad, Mystic squad, and another Mystic squad. These guys are close enough to attack. So, um, why don't we head over that way? They're close enough. And we'll attack with our combat arts. Unless. Well, we can use more combat arts than these guys because they're closer. Also, if you tap X now, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I finally figured it out. Uh, it lists what combat arts you're using. Obviously, if you're spending more points, you're using more combat arts for uh, multiple units. So that's what that means. In any case, I think we're gonna go try and secure this particular flank take on this mystic squad. Um, yeah, let's combat arts them. Let's go. No raid lock. Is he hitting the bosses? No, no. Nice. That is one mighty knee splitter. And that's the boss. No, that's not the guy in the that's not the guy in the movie in the cinematic. Also the morale is crazy good for us right now. So we're on the back line. Yeager's currently busy dealing with uh, with one of our guys, so we're free to take on another melee squad. Why don't we take I mean, if we go for the Mystic Squad, we're likely to be um, interfered with by the Melee Squad. So let's just pack it up, head that way. Um, cutting lunge. Yes? Or we could try hitting them with Mystic Cards, why not? Yeah, let's use Mystic Cards. We haven't done that in a while. It's good to get some practice out of that. Damn it. Go, Torgal! Damn, that's a big crit. Oh, holy hell. Oh man, they're taking Torgal down. I need to help out. Oh, he's flanking the boss. Oh, he's holding Torgal, that's good. Nice. So we're busy with these guys. Um, we're gonna need to heal each other, uh, heal, our, heal ourselves, because we're almost down to half health. I don't think two guys healing is required, so we'll just use Rush for Respirative Herbs and have the... Oh, one of our guys is standing by? What? Can he not attack? I'd expect the Shaman to be able to heal. 
Anyway, let's get an attack in. Oh, ouch. Oh, he did heal. Nice. Oh, they're flanking the boss. That's great. What is this? No. So we're getting two squads on our, on our ass right now. Let's use our combat arts to finish him off. One down. Oh, what's that? Nice. Boss is down. We're deadlocked by these guys. Oh fuck, that was right trigger. Ah, oh, thanks. David came to our rescue. Is that reinforcements? Two support squads, one mystic, two melee. Um... So basically, up to this point, we've secured the flank and let Torgal and uh, and David deal with the boss, which they've done successfully. It's pretty good, I guess. I don't think we're going to be able to get the Mystic Squad, but let's try and let's see if we can actually absolutely one-shot them. Use all the points I have with my combat arts. I don't know if cutting lunge makes a difference in terms of attack speed, like getting there faster, but let's try it. That's Torgal getting in the way. Getting stuck in. Nice. Oh no, he's getting flanked from all sides. Oh no. Reader Assault. When in deadlock, if one union is flanked attacked by two unions, any further union deadlocking the victim, union, launch, or rear assault. Union is performing this. Okay, so basically, if you're engaged with somebody, you can get flanked by up to two dudes, and if uh, you get flanked by another dude, like attacked by a third unit, that actually takes you from behind. Hint, hint. And you get dealt extra damage. Torgle's in trouble. Oh, gay bulg. Watch out. I think David's had enough of this fight. Dude. Dude, last time you used that, it just blew up everything. Well, that's one way to end a fight. Sure. Deluxe bracelet. More effective than a standard counterpart. Yes, please. That is the guy, though, from the cinematic. To the caves now. Okay, first off, Rush's equipment. We want that bracelet. Effect Mall plus one. What? Yes? I have no idea what that means, but it sounds awesome. 
All right, we got five digs. We're in a cave. Let's keep an eye out for harvesting points. That's a remnant down there, up ahead. Um, bugs. More bugs. What's that? Spiders. Spider cowering and a regular spider. Why is he cowering? Uh, do we have a map? No, we don't. Um, let's make a right, I guess. Let's start dealing with those guys. Let's see if we can deal with both at the same time. Sup. Right. So there's three giants, two giant spiders, and one regular spider. Uh, oh, and we have everybody with us, so that's that's fine. So let's deal with the spider group up in front. I'm not entirely sure if combat arts are better. Or Mystic Arts are better against spiders, but it's we'll try it out. So let's go with Combat Arts first, see what that does to them. Oh, we're ready. Intercepted. Oh no. That almost killed him. No, nope, that killed him. So that was uh, one Combat Arts and two attacks, right? No oh, half health. So it seemed like um, combat arts do relatively well with spiders. That's fine. Oh, is that a captured spider? Um... Oh, really? These are being requested. You can grab the items for yourself or give them to others. Uh, no. So. The way I understand it is your units may request upgrade materials to, um, to upgrade their own equipment. That's pretty good. Uh, let's even split the capture spider. Four components. So we can maybe upgrade our stuff in the future. Um, I have sold um, some like capture monkeys or whatever the hell those were uh, that I handled the last time. And that sort of um, unlocked a couple of more items. Actually, I did that in the previous episode, so why am I talking about that? Because that's how I bought my rape here. Never mind. Let's fight spiders. Speed air. Let's do mystic cards, see what those do. Should be spark too. Ow. Oh, that was a one shot. That was a one shot. So these, they seem weaker against Mystic Eyes, for sure. Damn it, that was so fast. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can hold on to these guys. Try to you upgrade your own stuff. Why not? Did we miss any? Harvesting points. I don't think we have so far. More spider. Oh, damn it! I got ambushed. No. Oh no. Not good. Yeah, I can attack and use Mystic Cards on my Shaman. Sure, that's fine. Block. Ow. It's 
so I've been, um... Fuck. That's what happens when you try to talk. I've been uh, taking a, a, a peek at the wiki every now and again, without spoiling myself, just looking at a couple more things, trying to figure out some, some more obscure elements of the gameplay. And it turns out that um, the more you use certain skills, the better your guys get at them. Makes perfect sense, right? And then I completely missed that. Those, are, those always get me by surprise. When they ask for right triggers instead of button prompts. Boom. Nice. Speed has grown. And they're not asking for any more compliments. That's fine. So yeah, the more you use your combat arts and mystic farts, uh, the better they, uh, the better your guys get at them. What the hell is that? Hello? Skull Scavenger. I don't know what you are. Uh, sure, I guess. Skull Scavenger. Let's see what you're good against. Let's Mystic Cards you see what that does. There's gonna be a lot of exploration and trying to figure out what's good against certain enemies for sure. That didn't seem to do very much. It did, I mean, normal attacks seem to be better in that progression. But it's done anyway, so. Note to self big birds, hit them with the sword. I do believe if we went to the right here, we come up to a remnant. Should be. We don't. But, aha. Uh -huh. There's a Mr. Diggs point. Go get a Mr. Diggs. Loop chance. Excuse me. Copper rock. Sure. Can I do it more than once? Red item. Natural oil. Okay. How many? Oh, I can dig. Uh, hell, I have three digs. Sure. Copper. That's fine. Let's use all of them. Um. Rare item. Nice. So we got. Uh, I. I think I know how that works, right? So you have a chance to, to repeat. Uh, that's just a cave. Sky kind of bomb. Okay, let's go. That was neat. We got a few bits and bobs. Oh my, what the... Hypnos. Please, Hypnos, go away. I don't know what you are. You seem magical. When you teleport it in, Two hypnos group. I'm wondering, like other games such as this, allow you a sort of a scan mechanic or spell, um, even a bestiary index or something like that. I predict it's going to become relatively hard to keep track of all these guys if uh, we don't get something similar. In any case, let's go full. Let's go full on combat with these guys. <laughs> Oh, they block. Oh, nice. That was good. That was a good idea. That's one. That's two down. And that was all she wrote. Monculus. Uh, captured Hypnos. Um, let's split them. 
Ever since I've come up, um, you know, those stores have opened that let you upgrade your item, your items, and I've seen the requirements. Oh god, what? So ever since those stores open, I kind of want to st stock up. Let's do Mystic Quest this time, see what those do. Floor. So they're homunculi. Fuck. No, I missed. Oh no, they do nothing. Cool. Yeah, let's split you again. Yes. Spider. Super spooky spider. Two groups, one giant, one regular. Um, that only has one guy. Let's practice hard. Intercepted by the giant spider, I guess. Sure, fine. I swear these combat triggers require you to be on the mark. Now let's see what's in the remnant. Excuse me. Combat from Siska. Is there a spider? I heard a spider. There's a spider. So that's an axe. Weapon recipe, um, sure, why not? You don't want to even fight me, let's fight you anyway. Bit of a grind, sure, but it's worth it. We'll get our stuff up. And the end. One of our guys leveled up to expert fighter. That's nice. Let's keep going. What is over here? Oh, it's a mining point. And I've not saved any digs. Never mind. We'll probably be uh, returning to Blacktail anyway in the future to get like the rare monster spawns and stuff. Big Bird! Uh, Big Bird hit over the face with the sword. I remember that. Oh, did I get attacked by Big Bird first? Ow. That's fine. Uh, yeah, both of you go. Black. So there's a bit of a tactical element to this game, which I'm really liking so far with the combat. It's a lot, it, it's different, right, from what you expect from other JRPGs. It has a little tactical thing, a little planning thing where you need to decide um, what your guys are doing in order to properly level them up and make sure they're getting used and they're seeing action. Let's make sure. It's not super easy to tell, to control, as you can probably see so far, it took a bit of getting used to and even a, a bit of reading through the wiki, right? But it's, you know, considering that they grow in, in, uh, in strength, the more use they see, then it kind of makes sense to, to, to let them exercise, if you will. See, such, such as this one, I'm, I'm pretty certain that this is gonna go well either way, so I might as well just use the Mystic Hearts, even though I, they're probably a bit weaker, just to get him to, to see some use. I don't even know if I'm not mistaken, and I'm completely, maybe, too fast. 
up. Maybe I'm completely fucking mistaken, but that's what it feels to me. Like, the more they use their abilities, the better they get. I could be completely wrong. Man. Captured Skull Scavenger. Yes, let's split you up first for some components that we don't have. Do, do, do. Could we save? I feel like saving. Yeah, I can. Thank fuck there's no... Excuse me. What is that? Oh no. That is a lot of dudes. Oh, more Mr. Diggs things. I wish we had a map. Oh, that's a remnant over there. Sure. Let's take these guys down. Cool. Oh yeah. When we get the combat trigger on that, they just go down. Yo, forearm kitty dude. Nice. Yeah, it's a bit more flashy too, right? The engagements. At first it's kinda hard to tell what's going on unless you like pay perfect attention. But the more you do, the more you get used to it. See, now McGrady has learned Thunderclap. I don't know if that had anything to do with us spamming a couple of uh, magics, mystic hearts in these last few fights, but it kind of feels like it. I, I'm just curious, let's see. So McGrady, your arts, uh, Thunderclap, a two-handed, oh, a weapon art. A strike is force as a sudden storm. Oh, Effect Thunder. That's nice. I don't even know if that's a Mystic Art or not. It's probably not. I mean, it shows up under physical, so... Anyway, Remnant time. Treasure chest time. Ah, just a few curing items. Always use more of those. I see any interesting thing that, things here. Oh, is that ledge ahead? Alright, let's keep going. Definitely gonna wanna come back here with Mr. Diggs and see what these other two excavation points are. Now, uh, do we dare take on all of these guys? No. This guy is charging us, so we're gonna take him on first. Yeah, magic. Magic is fine. Pretty good. The other two we can take at one time, I'm sure. Okay. Hypnos. Alright. Let's take the middle one. This time, no, no bullshit. I'm gonna use our best moves. Friends got one down. It's hard time. I do wish there was a way to 
to see the the order of moving of movement of action that you guys go through before they do it or even the effect of what you're gonna do that would be nice um capture hypnos let's keep these guys why not we've split a couple so far so and a transition sure The Sapphire Pit. Okay. Sure, the Sapphire Pit. We'll come back to the Sapphire Pit in the next episode. We've gone long enough with this one, so stick around.